Hey everybody, hi students, a warm welcome to everyone to this very particular session. My name is Preksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, and I give you all a very warm welcome everybody. I hope everyone is doing great uh, since we are meeting after quite a long time. So I hope that you guys are doing great and you guys are doing well for your examinations as well. Whatever we studied, I hope that you all have revised it. And today in this class, I'm hoping that you all have already read this chapter. And then you all have come to the class because this is pretty important. Uh, like the way I always say that you guys need to be very much uh, like, uh, what is it? Like you have to be very much energetic if you want to be there in the class. If you really want to score good marks in your examination. The reason being that uh, it's a language paper and herein you will have to literally be very strong in terms of understanding everything correctly Alrighty, hey everybody hi guys welcome to the worry session a very good afternoon once again today we are going to deal with the very chapter boli what to word explanation is going to be there and uh, we are going to have a minty quiz right at the end the session is going to be a long one it is going to be continued till four o'clock so stay tuned for the entire session and do not ask me for menti in between the session when i'm explaining you the chapter instead ask me about menti right at uh, three o'clock or so all right because then we are going to have a full-fledged menti quiz on this very particular chapter hey sturdy girl hi james hi shalini hi govin hey hi everybody welcome to the worry session so guys give me a confirmation in the comment section quickly first that you all have shared the link of this session and the second thing that uh, you all have read the chapter okay i really want to get a thumbs up if you have read the chapter and a heart if you have shared the link of this session come on everybody do it as quick as you all can hey mareb hi babs hi vip vipul hello everybody come on come on be quick everyone then we are gonna start <clears throat> We are going to start this in a minute. Okay, very good, Bubs. Very good, guys. Very nice. So, we are moving ahead with the chapter of Huli. And what to word explanation with the Minty Quiz is going to be there. So, guys, my name is Preksha Sharma. I'm sure you guys know about me. And I've done Masters in English from Delhi University. And I've been guiding a lot of students for the past few years to be super duper amazing in their communication skills and to score good marks in their academics. I'm sure I'm going to help you all as well. So, stay tuned. Hey, Sanket. Hi, dear okay sanket that's pretty good okay deepak thank you so much dear thank you so much okay and moving ahead everybody we have got the telegram channel all right it's on academy class 9 and 10 kindly join it because all the educators they'll keep on sharing the updates related to their upcoming sessions here and so do not miss that out all right and guys the very free special class features you have got a lot of features like real time interaction using chat and emojis would be there you all can ask the questions using the question tab and live poll options for quiz would be there and poll leaderboard compete with your friends too Alrighty, people oh my god guys thank you thank you so much okay guys so now what i wanted to tell you all is that all the special classes for class 10 till 15 feb have been scheduled this is very uh, important for all of you to be there in the special classes because therein you can ask me any number of questions and moreover what we are going to do therein is this okay so take a note of it right away and go on the app and uh, just enroll for the given class do not miss out anything that can help you all score good marks okay uh, here we go that has already been done my dear shreya we are already done with making of a scientist were you not there in the class okay all right sanket who is not talking to you as of now just concentrate on what we are telling you here okay so guys this is the very schedule it's gonna start from 9 feb 10th 11 12 14 and 15 feb okay so we are going to deal with the questions of the hack driver code is psh10 kindly enroll everyone using this code then let's crack questions of bully we are going to deal with this on 10th feb right at 8 pm and then the questions of the proposal with the code psh10 you can enroll for the class it's gonna be taken place on 11th of feb then we have sermon at brunaris okay again the code is psh10 12th feb is the date then on 14th feb i'm going to deal with all the important questions mark my words here all the important questions would be dealt with okay so from the entire syllabus it's gonna be a long session for two hours on 8th uh, on 14th of feb and that to 8 pm okay and then on 15 feb okay 8 pm you will have reported speech the code is psh10 so this is pretty important for everyone to be there for the very class Alrighty, is that clear prakash thank you dear hey suman hi hey prakash hi everybody hey hello hey ragini okay so hi and hello to everybody 
All righty, people. So this is basically the special class schedule. Everyone, kindly note it down. Go and enroll for the class by using the code PSH10. Okay, be right there. All right. Now, Sanket, we are going to deal with the very chapter. Okay, and after that, we are gonna start with the Minty quiz. If you are talking about the YouTube session. All righty, people. Moving ahead. Bholi, we are going to do, which has been written by K A Abbas. Okay, what word explanation is going to be there? As I always say, people, this is very, very, very important that you need to remember the name of the chapter and the name of the writer correctly. I've been always saying this in all my sessions. Whatever sessions you watch, you'll always see me saying this. So it's pretty important that you take it seriously too. All right. So now, before I go ahead with any kind of explanation, I want all of you to tell me what is there in the chapter. You guys told me that you've read it, okay? So tell me what is there in the chapter. What do you really understand in the given chapter? Come on, guys. It's gonna be a long chapter. So this is important for everybody to listen to me carefully and to be very much engaged in the class. Hey, Ayushi. Hi, dear. Hello, everybody. Hi, Sora. What are you not understanding, my dear? What is it that you're not understanding? So yeah, come on, guys. Yes, Shreya, the classes, the free classes, the special classes, they are always free, okay? You can always come into the class by just enrolling by the code PSH10, okay? So you can catch me there for sure. That's not problematic. Yeah. Hey, Rajput. Hi, dear. Come on, everybody. Tell me what is there in the chapter, okay? We cannot be lethargic anymore. The exams, they are just about to come. We are already like in the second week of Feb, okay? And Feb is already very slow. Hey, Chins. Hi, dear. Come on. Who is going to tell me? Vivek, we are going to have Minty right at the end. It's about a girl that everyone meant her short-minded. All right. The story about an innocent girl. Sanket, use the articles correctly, my dear. You've been, you're being judged for everything in your written examination. I've told this like multiple times, right? So this is a story about uh, whom? Come on, come on, come on. We are starting. I want to know from all of you. What exactly is this um, story all about? What is this story all about? Come on, who is writing? What is it, everybody? Come on. Nobody is saying education changes your life. Okay, Sarika, alrighty. Okay, guys, so let me give you a brief about the given chapter. What do we see that Bhuli is one of the chapters? I mean, the name itself is suggesting it's about an innocent girl, all right? Uh, unfortunately, she met with an accident in her, uh, like, um, in her very, uh, like, childhood days basically like when she was just a baby and that resulted in some sort of injury in her brain due to which she couldn't speak until an age and then after that when she started speaking she used to stammer stammer in hindi we say haklana all right so this is what we are going to see that what exactly is going to be her journey and how did she like uh, tackle everything and what are the scenarios or the circumstances that came across her all right, people, a girl named Bholi who got difficulty in speaking. Okay, a girl named Bholi and Bholi in starting of her was by smartbox in the story. We will come to know, overcome. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Shreya, you're right about that. A teacher changes her life. Yes, and Kate. Okay. Hey, Dimple. Hi, dear. We meet after quite a long time. But my dear, this class is only for 10thies and not for 90s. And I'm going to come up for the 90s soon. All right, but as of now, the classes are going to be only for 10thies. Okay. Okay, Deepak, thank you. <clears throat> All right, Bholi Suleka, the fourth daughter of uh, Nambada Ramlal, was always neglected by her parents because of a simple nature. All righty, Corby, you're right about that. Okay, hey, Shiv. Hi, Shiv Gaming. Hello, dear. A girl who was little foolish due to falling off court and when she was 10 months uh, ago, and, oh, sorry, old, and was affected small but due to her face become horrible. Okay, Vivi, cool. All righty, people. Okay, everybody does know about it and let's give it a start now. All right, I'm gonna go line by line. If that's something that's not making sense for any one of you, kindly stop me there and then it's all. Okay, and guys, before I start, let me tell you all that I'm gonna having uh, this open house session right at four o'clock with all of you. So make sure that after the session, you guys are immediately joining me for the open house there and you can ask me whatever you want to ask. And I'm gonna tell you all like how to study for your board examination, especially the chapters, okay? So be right there. Make sure that you're not missing that out at all. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting chapter. Okay, simple turn girl, very good. So, we are beginning the chapter and in the very beginning it says her name was Suleika but since her childhood everyone had been calling her Bholi, the simpleton. Okay, so her basically here refers to the protagonist that we have got and her name is what? Her name is Bholi. So, herein we are talking about the female character who is going to be the lead role in the entire chapter. 
Okay, is that clear? Okay, English medium. Okay, all right, Vivek, that's pretty good. Okay, okay. Deepak, my dear, do not create any spam in the class because I have got a par wherein I can block you. So if you really don't want to be blocked, so be right there. Okay, and listen to me very carefully. Hey, Corby Pikaboo. Yeah, after a long time. Yeah, you missed me. Uh, that's so sweet of you. Dear, I'm well. I'm quite well. Thank you so much. Okay, people. So her is the protagonist, Bholi, and her actual name was Sulekha. All right, please always write the name of the person with the initial letter capital in your answer sheets. Otherwise, you guys are going to miss your marks. But since her childhood, everyone had been calling her. Had been calling her hair in. What is the tense people had been calling? What is the tense? Ragini, go ahead with your dog. What is the tense had been calling everybody? We are going to concentrate on everything. Hey, Arya. Hi, dear. Hello. What is the tense had been calling? This is your past perfect continuous, right, people? So now something was going on like, uh, like in a continuation manner and it started long back when she was just a child and everyone just used to call her Bholi and the simpleton. Simpleton basically refers to whom? Do you please, can you please let me know the meaning of simpleton in the context of this chapter? It's past perfect continuous. Yeah, you're right about that. It's not Sanket past perfect, it's past perfect continuous. Simple, that's a sweet of you there, past perfect continuous, right? So here in the past perfect continuous has been uh, used in order to say that something continued in the past in her childhood okay and it was continuation and it continued for quite some time in the past itself already that is where we use past perfect continuous so now she was basically known as a foolish girl all right in the context of the chapter we refer to it as a foolish all right like the simpleton basically a foolish girl who can be fooled easily okay so she was the fourth daughter people please pay attention that what was her very rank i mean what was the chronology Chronology was that she was the fourth daughter. This the is important here because we are specifying the number and that is the fourth. So when you guys are going to write this in your examination, be very sure about this. All right. Yeah, that's right, Vivek. That's very right. Simpleton fool. Right, Dimple. You're right about that. So she was the fourth daughter of Nambardar Ramlag all right so he was actually a good person i mean a good in terms of his post and he was known as number uh, uh, ramlal so please make sure that when you are writing this in your examination you're so sure that this n is capital this r is capital you have to just keep all these details in your mind okay these things really matter when she was 10 months old she had fallen off the coat on her head and perhaps it had damaged some part of her brain so perhaps basically refers to the fact like probably all right or you can say maybe okay is that clear everybody is that clear to everyone so basically like when she was and please when you're writing in your examination it is fallen off okay fallen off the like this off is used with fallen in order to uh, just simplify that something from a particular place has just gone down that means girna okay that is what it is do not write like this off you are going to get no mark for this okay so now she had fallen off the coat okay so that means when she was just a child so she had fallen off and due to wash like what exactly it is what is a coat guys like it is a very small bed kind of thing which is basically used in order to make the baby sleep all right that is what it is is that making sense to everybody so now she was being there and she had fallen off it and that too like from her head she had fallen and maybe it had literally damaged or little damage must have been done to her brain. That's why she remained a backward child. Backward basically refers to the person who is not developed. You know like there is a proper age when a child begins um, saying things and understanding things. All right. Is that clear to everybody? Meaning of coat. Coat is a bed. Okay. Like just a jhula. Palna in Hindi when you say no. Like a jhula or palna. Basically, a bed hota hai. Jahan pe bachche ko. Chote bachche ke liye bed hota hai ho. Thik hai? Toh vaha se wo gir gai thi. This is what it is. The duration is going to be for two hours, my dear. Till four. Okay. And right at four. Uh, like after the session is over, we are going to get back to uh, the open house session. So, you guys can connect with me therein. Alrighty. Study with RB. I hope that's clear to everybody. Uh, found in villages or towns yeah Corby you can say even in the today's context also you can say that the child is lying in the coat that's okay all right 
So now she remained a backward child. Backward basically is that like she didn't grow, she didn't develop, she couldn't understand and came to known as Bholi, the simpleton. That means a foolish girl, okay, who has got a very little understanding, whose mind doesn't work like any other child. At birth, okay, why are we using the preposition at here? Because I'm specifying a particular duration. So at birth, the child was very fair and pretty. Okay, so when she had taken the birth, no, she was very fair in complexion and she was very beautiful. But when she was two years old, she had an attack of smallpox. So what is the smallpox? Like there are certain boils that appears on your entire uh, skin, uh, on, on your entire body. As in ki aapke body pe jundane ho jate hain. Take usme paani sa bhar jata hai. Aisa sa kuch ho jata hai. All right, is that clear to everybody? I'm not understanding, Deepak. What are you trying to ask me? All right. And Katia, it's basically found in dimple. Yeah, you can say like that. Okay, but it is basically a baby bed. Coat is basically a baby bed. So now she had an attack of smallpox and only the eyes were saved, but the entire body was permanently disfigured by deep black poke marks. So the poke marks basically refer to the boils. That means जो दाने आपकी body पे हो जाते हैं और फिर उसमें पानी भर जाता है और जब वो settle होने लगता है तो वहाँ पे black color का दाना आ जाता है. ठीक है? So that is what actually happened. Already people, is that clear to everybody? Like what exactly I'm here talking about? So now only the eyes were safe. So that means only her eyes they were really good, but the entire body it was permanently disfigured. Permanently disfigured basically means that on her body there were permanent black marks. Okay, like nothing could have been done about that. You know, smallpox is something. If you're not taking proper care of it, it is going to leave a permanent mark on your body. So you have to take proper medication and everything. So she didn't take that. All right. Hey, Kushbu. Hi, dear. Hello. Okay, yes, scars. That's right. Okay, so poke marks basically, uh, poke marks basically refer to the black uh, scars. So little Suleika, all right, could not speak till she was five. So good hair has been shown in order to, uh, uh, sorry, has been written in order to show her ability that she couldn't speak well. Okay, and uh, till what year? She couldn't speak till five years of age. And when at last she learned to speak, she stammered. Stammering is like when you're unable to speak properly. Haklana. That is what in Hindi it is. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear uh, to everybody? Yes or no? Is there any doubt in the very first part of your chapter? Is everything clear? Please make sure that you're taking care of everything that she was the fourth daughter till five years she couldn't speak. And then when she started speaking, she started stammering. And she was very pretty and beautiful when she was born. But later on, she had got some scars because of the attack of smallpox. Clear? Alrighty, people. Very good. Now we are moving to the next one. The other children often, often is like, like sometimes, okay. So that basically means the other children often made fun of her and mimicked her. Mimic is like when you are actually uh, trying to be uh, like you are trying to speak somebody, like you are imitating, uh, like somebody, like you are imitating. Okay, like for example, the way I'm speaking right now, maybe the next day when you're going to meet me, you're gonna, going to mimic like me. That means you are imitating me. So, the rest of the children, they were always making fun of them, as in making fun of them, and sometimes they were making fun of them, and they were making fun of them. Is that clear? Umar stammering basically means when you are unable to speak the proper words. Okay, that in Hindi we say to be haklana. Okay, like ruk ruk ke bolna. For example, if I am saying da 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 daughters. Like this, okay? When I am not able to go, like, speak in one flow. Like that. Is that clear, everybody? Yes. Moonstar Haryanvi, I'm very well. Thank you so much. Okay. So, as a result, she talked very little. You know, when you make fun of someone and when you're mimicking someone, when you're imitating someone, so the person gets so very much conscious. The person doesn't feel like talking every time because every time the person feels that if I'm going to speak something, the others are going to make fun of me. So, they feel very shy and embarrassed. So, as a result, she talked very little. She talked very little. She talked very little. Okay, Ramlal had seven children. Now, this is very important. Ramlal is father of Bholi. He had seven children. This dash has been given in order to just talk about the seven children. We'll get to know the information. Imitating, that is what imitating is. Okay, 
Is that clear now? Study with RB. When you are just trying to mimic someone. For example, if I'm saying speak like me or speak like Shah Rukh Khan. Okay, what are you doing? You are just catching him. You are just copying him. So what are you doing? You are imitating him. Ab uski nakal ban utar rahe ho. Is that clear? So now we see. Uh, here we go. So yeah, he had three sons and four daughters. And the youngest of them was Bholi. Please remember this. Three sons, very important okay and he had four daughters and the youngest all right see it has been written the youngest please make sure we always use the article the with the superlative degree of comparison here in its youngest so that is why you are writing the here so the youngest of them was bholi okay it was a prosperous farmer's household and there was plenty to eat and drink prosperous basically refers to wealthy all right so her father he was a rich farmer okay and they were living in a good place and they had a lot to eat they had a lot to drink all the children except bholi were healthy and strong so jitne bhi bachche the sab ke sab bahut zyada strong the bahut hi zyada healthy the but it was only bholi the youngest daughter who was not healthy who was not fit okay is that clear to everybody Hey Kushbu, I'm sorry dear, I couldn't remember you just by your name, okay? That's pretty difficult. All right, is that clear to everybody now? Right? I hope that's making sense to everybody. Now we are going to move ahead. All the children, so we see the sons had been sent to the city to study in schools and later in colleges. So, jitne bhi ladke the, unko kahan pe bheja gaya, unko school mein bheja gaya, jisse ki wo paad sake and then later on they were being sent into the colleges as well. Of the daughters, that means jitne bhi daughters thi, Radha, the eldest. So see, here in, you see these kamas, right everybody? Why is this kama being given? Because now we wanted to just make one uh, out of, uh, like out of all of them to be completely aloof. So uh, of the daughters, it was only Radha who was the eldest one. She was being married, okay? So she was a married woman. All right, ghar bar. Study with RB household basically means ghar bar. Okay, that is what it means. All right, is that clear to everybody? Yes. Okay, so we see the second daughter, Mangla's marriage had also been settled. That means she was also married. So you know, Radha was the first one, then Mangla was the second one. Okay. And when that was done, Ramlal would think of the third champa. So they were good looking, healthy girls and it was not difficult to find bridegrooms for them. So that basically means bridegrooms basically refer to the man. That means dhula in Hindi. Okay. And the third one was champa. So please remember it. All right. These were the three daughters. And the fourth one was Bholi. All right. So they were really beautiful. They were good looking. They were healthy as well. So it was not difficult for the father to find a good man, a good looking man for them. Okay. Is that clear, everybody? Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, Kushbu, thank you so much. All right. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. Uh, Chims, I'm going to answer you. Just meet me after the session in the very open house uh, session. Okay. I'm going to give you the answer for that. All right. Is that clear to everyone right there? Okay. Yeah, here we go. Just a moment, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so is this clear to everybody? Is there any doubt regarding this? Do you have any doubt regarding this? Is this clear to everyone right there? In the comment section, please. Study with RB, the special class is going to take place. The special class will be taking place soon, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, people, yeah. Now, Karan, we are going to start with the menti right at 3 o'clock. I had already mentioned this to all my students, okay? Bridegroom is the dula, okay? That means the men to get married to. That is what it means. Alrighty, now we are moving ahead to the next one. 
Okay, but Ramlal was worried about Bholi. She had neither good looks nor intelligence. So Bholi, okay, she was not very good looking, okay, and she was not even intelligent. Like she had fallen off the court, so the like some part of her brain, okay, it might have gotten damaged, and due to that, she was not very intelligent. She used to stammer also, and she was not even good looking. She had that marks on her skin right do you all get that is that right yeah study girl nishi you're right about that so bholi was seven years old when mangla was married okay the same year a primary school for girls was opened in their village the tehsil dar sahib came to perform its opening so tehsil dar sahib guys here in what happened is when mangla got married she was the eldest one okay there in bholi she was just seven years old Okay, and in the same year, there was a primary school. There was a school that got opened and there was one chief person, okay, who was that? Tehsil Dar Saab. So, he was a person with authority, all right. He came to perform its opening ceremony. So, the very inauguration of that school was being done by Tehsil Dar Saab. Please remember the name correctly. Remember the spelling correctly. Write it correctly in your examination. Smallpox. Smallpox. Study with Arby. All right. Yeah, Nikhil, go ahead with that. So, what do we see? He said to Ramlal, as a revenue official, you are the representative of the government in the village. And so, you must set an example to the villagers. You must send your daughters to school. So, now that Tehsil Dar Sahab, he came and he was saying this, that you are a revenue official. That means revenue is basically the profit generated. So, he is saying that now, like as a revenue official, you are the representative of the government. So, now he is saying this to the very portion. That means number the Ramlath. He is saying that you are taking care of the revenue department. That is the very profit department, okay, of the government in this village. All right, this is what you are doing. So, now you must set it as an example. And how, how is that going to be done? By sending your daughters to this very school so that the others would get motivated and they would also send their daughters to this school all right is a brain related disease there was like we'll come to okay just 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 hold your horses okay you'll come to know everything just relax and just keep listening to me as i'm going ahead Alrighty, people is that clear to you deepak just try to see that what is the video quality that you have got and then just let me know about it all right okay Alrighty, so now moving ahead, everyone. Yes, yeah, sorry, guys, because of the buffering. Yeah, so moving ahead that night when Ramlal consulted his wife, consulted is like that he actually discussed. Okay, that night he discussed with his wife. She cried. Are you crazy? So cried here basically means ki usne tez mein bola ki, Kya tum pagal ho? if girls go to the school, who will marry them? So she had this thinking that if the girls, they are going to go to the school because it was the time when the girls, they were not being like subjected to the education. They were not being given the right education. So the women, she was not ready to send the girls to the school. All right. So now she says, are you crazy? If girls, they are going to go to the school, who will marry them? But Ramlal had not the courage to disobey the Tehsildar. But Ramlal, okay, like he had to follow what was being told by Tehsildar because he was the chief, okay, and this was being suggested by him. At last, his wife said, I will let you what to do, uh, send Bholi to school. So now, at the very last, when they had the discussion, the wife was like, okay, just as you think you want to do it, do Bholi to school. As it is, there is a little chance of her getting married. And she is like, there are very few chances hai, that she is going to get married. With her ugly face, uske gande chehre ke saath, and lack of sense. That means that she is not having the knowledge. Okay, she is not having the knowledge. Let the teachers at school worry about her. So her mother was like, let the teachers, okay, the teachers who are going to teach her, let them be worried about her at the school and not the others. All right, is that clear to everybody? Yes. Is that making sense, guys? Right? Is this clear to everybody right there? Yes? Come on, give me your confirmation in the comment section that yes, you all understood what I just told you all. Alrighty, moving ahead. The next day, the has been used here because we are specifying the day, which is the next day. The next day, Ramlal caught Bholi by the hand and said, Come with me. So Ramlal ne uska haat pakra aur usne kya bola ki chalo mere saath. I will take you to school. Main tumhe school leke jaunga. Bholi was frightened. Frightened as in that she was scared. 
All right, she did not uh, bholi know uh, what a school was like. So now she had no idea that what is a school, how does it look like. She was already like seven years old. She remembered how a few days ago their old cow Lakshmi. So what was the name of the cow? And we are using here the very fact a few days ago. That means only you know, like very some days. Okay, not too far. I mean not too ago, but like the the time duration is not too much. So they had a cow and she was old her name was Lakshmi had been turned out of the house and sold no 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 like this is how she's saying because she stammered so ab usko kya yaad aaya ki kuch dino pehle ek old cow thi hamare ghar mein Lakshmi okay usko ghar se bahar nikal diya tha aur bech diya tha so she was very much scared and she was like no 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 i'm not going out she shouted in terror shouted in terror is like jab aap chillate ho dard uh, dard ki wajah se ya fir jab aapko dar lag raha ho okay and pull her hand away from her father's grip aur isne ekdam se apna haath hataya jo papa ne jo uska haath pakad rakha tha ekdam se haath hataya what's the matter with you you fool matlab tum pagal matlab kyun kya kya dikkat hai tumhe kya problem hai tumhe shouted ramlal ramlal ne chilla ke bola i'm only taking you to school main tumhe sirf school le ja raha hu then he told his wife let her wear some decent clothes today or else what will the teachers and the other school girls think of us when they see her so now the very father he was like ki isko kuch decent decent is like good okay let her wear some good clothes today otherwise the teachers at the school what are they going to think and the other school girls the other girls which are at the school what are they going to see say and what are they going to think of her that number dar uh, ramlal ki beti aise kapde pehen ke aa rahi hai school is that clear to everybody yes guys uh like does that make sense is that making sense All right. Terror is like जब आपको डर लग रहा हो ओके टेरर इज लाइक डर ओके वेन यू आर अफ्रेड दैट इज वट इट इज ऑल राइट ये ये सो राजपूत यू आर वेरी राइट अबाउट दैट राइट ओके Now moving ahead, everybody. New clothes had never been made for Bholi. So, इससे पहले कभी भी like they had never ever asked for new clothes for Bholi because she was not very good looking. She had that ugly face, and her parents they were not even very much concerned about her because of all the things that had happened to her. So the old dresses of her sisters were passed on to her. So she had always got the old dresses. I mean, whatever the other three sisters, like Mangla, Champa, and the other one, they used to wear. Those dresses were just being given to her. No one cared to mend or wash her clothes. Mend is to take care. Okay, sahi karna. Agar kahin se fat jana, to usko seal na. Okay. So they didn't used to care about it. They didn't even used to wash her clothes. She was being given the worst treatment in their home. But today she was lucky to receive a clean dress. But today, because she was being sent to the school, she received a good dress which was very clean, which was nice, which was not dirty, and which had shrunk after many washings and no longer fitted Champa. So now, which had shrunk after many washings, that means there are certain types of clothes, guys, which we wash so they shrunk. Sikur jana shrunk is like sikur jana. Okay, due to which it was not fitting Champa, and that is why it was being given to her. All right, so she was even bad. So उसको उस दिन नहलाया भी गया था, and oil was rubbed into her dry and matted hair. Matted hair, dry and matted hair basically means जब आपके बाल ना बहुत dry से हो जाते हैं और उनकी quality गिरने लग जाती है, and matted is like when they are becoming very rough. Okay, matted is like rough and which are not even curly. So in this very particular context, matted is like very smooth hair okay smooth basically in the sense straight hair but they were very dry very bad quality because she was not taking care of uh, sorry she was not being given any care in any context all right is that clear to everybody yes guys i hope that's making sense so only then did she begin to believe that she was being taken to a place better than her home and that is an exclamation mark ah. that is very important so when she was being given this kind of a treatment no guys there and she understood that today she was going to go to a better place which is really good all right as compared to what it was earlier all right i mean uh, wherever she was living mend is theek karna okay to fix all right that is what it is all right is that clear fitted is like fitting completely in your body as per your body size 
all right which is not loose or which is not very tight so champa she was not getting fit in that dress because of washing it many times due to which it shrunk shrunk is like wo kapda sikod gaya jisse ki uski body mein ab wo fit nahi ho raha tha is that clear guys now nice. stop talking among yourself just listen to me very carefully i would really be blocking everyone who is not going to concentrate on the class the right way is that clear everybody right i hope that everything is clear to everyone right there okay people yeah all right here okay yeah we are moving ahead <clears throat> hair mel rough and dry yes shuresh in the very context you can say like that which is very rough and dry not of very good quality like if you're not taking care of your hair they become very rough and they become very bad as well okay so when they reached the school the children were already in their classroom so all the children like when they had gone to the school now the, uh, the obviously the students they are supposed to be in the classroom so they were there ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress headmistress basically refers to the principal so he had sent her daughter to that lady left alone the poor girl looked about her with fear laden eyes fear laden eyes is fear filled eyes you know when you are really fearing when you have got some fear in you your eyes they they really show that you are fearing something okay so there was that fear in her eyes and she was just looking here and there she was really really frightened and scared there were several rooms several is like many rooms and in each room girls like her squatted on mat squatted basically refers is like that they were sitting okay they were sitting on mats so there were like uh, the in the class there were no bench uh, no benches instead there were mats okay and they were sitting on those mats mats is like a carpet kind of thing okay uh, in hindi we say that chatai all right so choti choti mats the and they were sitting on that and they were reading from their books or writing on slates so slate is basically a small blackboard kind of thing in all the villages and in the rural areas the children they are being given a small blackboard kind of thing okay wherein they can write with their uh, chalk okay so the headmistress asked bholi to sit down in a corner in one of the classrooms now so now the headmistress was like go there and sit there in the very corner and she sat there All right. Wait, it is like when you are sitting, okay? Like when you are just sitting. जब आप आलती पालती मार के बैठ जाते हो ना नीचे, when you are not sitting on a chair. Instead, you are just sitting down on the floor. That is what squatting is. All right. <coughs> yeah, good, Corby. That's pretty good. Right, right, right. Very good, RB. You're right. आलती पालती मार के. That's right. Bholi did not know what exactly a school was like and what happened there. Of course, Bholi was not given any kind of information ever. All right, so she was not aware of this, guys. Like, what is a school? How does it really look like? All right, just a minute, guys. But she was glad to find so many girls, almost of her own age, present there. So what exactly here the thing is that she was really happy. See, she had never been to school. She was not being given any kind of education because of the fact that she couldn't speak till her five, right? And then at the age of seven, uh, like when she was speaking, she was just stammering. So at that moment, like she was being sent to the school. Also, like although the parents they were reluctant to send her to the school, it was only the uh, the Sildar. Like whose words made or uh, Ramla send her daughter Bholi to the school? So therein she was really uh, very glad. Like when she saw everything around her, she was happy. Like seeing a lot of girls of her same age. You know, this is what a child is all about. Like a child really feels like playing with the kids around, right? Of the same age, they really feel fun there. So now she was really glad. She was very happy to find so many girls, and they were of her own age. She hoped that one of these girls. So guys, I've always told this that this expression one of these okay this is always followed up by a plural okay now please remember this so one of these girls might become her friend so might here shows very lesser possibility so she had no friend till date okay so now she had this very lesser possibility in her mind that this could be the thing that somebody could be my friend all right is that clear everyone yes is that clear to everybody right guys yes 
Okay, Nikhil Pandey, my dear. Do not create any spam in the class. All right. Hell, okay. Okay, study with Arvi. All right, Arvi, thank you. So, the lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls, but Bholi could understand nothing. So, now the lady, like the teacher who was standing there, okay, she was speaking about something. She was guiding something, but the girl, I mean, but Bholi, she couldn't really understand anything. She was not understanding whatever was being said. She looked at the pictures on the wall. So, uh, please remember, we always look at something. All right, the very word look always takes the preposition at when you are just viewing something. Okay, so she was looking at the pictures which were there on the wall. The colors fascinated her. So that means whatever colors were there on the wall, they were really so very much nice. It was fascinating. Okay, so now basically all those colors were exciting to her. It was making, uh, sorry, all those colors were making her happy. The horse was there, which was brown, all right, just like the horse on which the Tessildar had come to visit their village. So now she saw a horse which was brown in color. It was as same as the, the horse uh, on which Tessildar had come to visit their village. And then we have got a semicolon. The goat was black like the goat of their neighbor. And the parrot was green like the parrot she had seen in the mango orchid. Okay. So orchid is basically or you can like the, the, pronunci the pronunciation is like orchid or orchid. Okay. Like it depends. It varies. So therein like uh, the mango orchid basically refers to a field wherein mango trees are there. Okay. And the cow was just like their Lakshmi. And suddenly Bholi noticed that the teacher was standing by her side smiling at her. So she was feeling so very much excited. Okay. Like all these things she had seen for the very first time. And it made her feel so very much excited. All right. Hey M10 Gamer. Hi. Okay. And she was really feeling good about it. So guys here in semicolons have been given. You guys must have noticed it. Because we are talking about one single idea. Like here in you know the very semicolons they are being given and yeah so they're being given here in order to show that uh, now we are linking uh, i mean we are talking about just one idea of looking at the pictures but the various different things so when you are pointing to one thing but linking different things therein you use the semicolon and herein we have used this dash in order to explain that what really fascinated her. It was the horse, it was the goat, it was the parrot and it was the cow. So please remember whatever has been mentioned here, all the details, they are very important. Is that clear everybody? Hey, hi, best BMS channel. Is that clear to everyone? Now we are going to move ahead. What's your name little one? So this was the question asked by the teacher. Okay. Now she's going to answer in her tone. She says bo, 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 and she could stammer no further than that. Okay, so now then she began to cry. Okay, or then she started crying and tears in a helpless flood. Helpless basically is a situation. Basically, it is saying that it was a non-stop crying okay that is what is helpless why because she was really scared she was all alone among the strangers all right and she started stammering uh and uh, when she was being asked a question she was feeling so shy so embarrassed about it too all right is that clear uh no my dear webhub i'm not ignoring you my dear i can very well see your uh, messages comments hey khan shafiq hi so she kept her head down as she sat in her corner, not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her. So you know when somebody stammers, this is really one of the very bad qualities in the humans. If you see somebody stammering, you should never be laughing at them because this is not what they chose themselves. This is their destiny. This is by their unfortunate luck that they have got this. So if you are making somebody feel so shy and embarrassed at their very quality, which somehow makes them look deformed, then you are the fool person who is standing right there. Okay. So she was feeling so bad. She was feeling so shy. She was feeling so very much embarrassed. And then she just couldn't look up. Okay. Because when you're feeling shy, you always look down. So she was feeling so bad about it. When the school bell rang, that means when she was in school, mein, all the girls scurried out of the classroom. That means that they ran out of the classroom. But Bholi dared not leave her corner. But Bholi had no courage to get out of the corner. Her head still lowered. She kept on sobbing. Sobbing is like when you are crying. 
विदाउट मेकिंग नॉइज ऑल राइट मतलब आपकी आंखों से सिर्फ पानी बह रहा है आंसू बह रहे हैं लेकिन आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है दैट यू आर क्राइंग इज दैट योर येस इज दैट मेकिंग सेंस स्कवरेज इज लाइक दैट यू रैन आउट इमीडिएटली ओके इज दैट योर डिम्पल थैंक यू स्वीडी Now moving ahead, the teachers. Okay, so at last, now the teacher says, "Bholi." Okay, so the teacher's voice was so soft and soothing. Now there is that exclamation mark, which is very important in order to show the very loving nature of teacher. Okay, she was very loving. She was very calm. She was very understanding. Okay, so she was very soft and soothing. Please remember the words; they are important. In all her life, she had never been called like that. पूरी जिंदगी में उसको इतने प्यार से किसी ने बात नहीं करी It touched her heart. You know, this is a very common phrase which we see, which we say, like it touched my heart. That means I really felt good. Like my heart really felt good when you said it. Like it's not for the sake of saying thank you. I'm saying the thank you to you, but I really mean it because all your effort they touched my heart. They made me feel so good. They made me feel happy. So now she was really getting emotionally attached to her teacher. Get up, teacher says. Get up, said the teacher. It was not a command. So that means वो एक order नहीं था कि हाँ उठो. But just a friendly suggestion. So that means that was more like a friend saying to another friend that just get up. Okay, so that was nowhere a command, nowhere an order wherein a teacher is commanding you to get up. Right? Holy God up. And now tell me your name. Now she was asking. Okay, अब मुझे अपना नाम बताओ. Sweat broke out over her whole body. So that means वो पूरा उसकी body जो है एकदम पसीना पसीना हो गई क्योंकि वो बहुत डर रही थी. ठीक है वुड हर स्टैमरिंग टंग अगेन डिसग्रेस हर सो दैट मीन्स आपकी उसकी वो जो हकलाती जबान है क्या वो उसे फिर से बेइज्जत करेगी डिसग्रेस इज लाइक बेइज्जत करना फॉर द सेक ऑफ दिस काइंड वुमेन नाउ दैट मीन्स कि इस अच्छी औरत के लिए ओके okay, सिर्फ इसके लिए हाउ एवर हाउ एवर सब सारी चीजों को छोड़ के इसके बावजूद she decided to make an effort which is very very important she found that love and comfort from a lady and then she was like that she is being so good to me to main iske liye at least ek aur bar try karke dekhti hu she has such a soothing voice so soothing voice who had a soothing voice that means the very women the the teacher okay she had a very amazing voice and now we have a semicolon again she would not laugh at her so now we are basically talking about she but we are talking about two different things first is soothing voice all right first i'm talking about the soothing voice and the next thing i'm talking about not laughing so i'm linking two different ideas but for one women that is where comes your again the semicolon so now she says see bha 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 okay she began to stammer so that means ab wo fir se haklane lagi well done well done now the teacher was like bahut acche bahut acche the teacher encouraged her this is very important guys the very encouragement that she is going to receive from her teacher will lead to a major change in her life all right is that clear to everybody right there so now she says come on now the full name now dash is being given why because now come on now why did she say this for she say this for the full name Uh, and then she says bha 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 bholi at last she was able to say it and felt relieved as it was a great achievement so you know like when you have got a burden on your heart and you're like oh my god ab mera ye assignment kab pura hoga and then you are like oh my god i need to do this and when it's over you feel a relief right so now she was relieved that finally i have said my name and it was really a great achievement for her okay well done the teacher patted her affectionately and said patted is like like aise karna okay thap thapi dena So now she was like that. Uh, she uh, she spoke in a very affectionate tone. Affectionate basically refers to your loving tone. Is that clear to everybody? Yes, guys. Study with Arbi. It's gonna be on uh, your Monday to Sunday, basically, <laughs> or basically Monday to Saturday. I would say like that. Uh, two p.m. Okay. As of now, only the tenthies class is going on. So let's see if I'll come up with the uh, another class for nineties also the next week. Okay. All righty. uh and we are going to move ahead so we see the teacher patted her affectionately and said put the fear out of your heart and you'll be able to speak like everyone else bolly looked up as if to us really so now she is like ki jo tumhare dil mein dar hai na usko nikal ke bahar feko tum bakiyon ki tarah bhi bolna start kar dogi and then she was like she, usne aise fatafat se upar dekha because she wanted to ask really sachchi 
and then yes yes it'll be very easy okay you just come to school every day will you come now she is like ha huh, this is very easy the only thing that you have to do is you have to visit the school on a daily basis now she is like will you come holy nodded nodded is like when you are doing like this okay this is a nod okay no say it aloud now she is like aise nahi bolna hai you have to speak it and then she is like ye yeah, ye yeah, yes and holy hersel was astonished astonished as in that she was shocked okay she was shocked she was shocked that she had been able to say it okay didn't i tell you now take this book the book was full of nice pictures and the pictures were in color so what were the pictures dog cat goat horse parrot tiger and a cow just like lakshmi and with every picture was a word in big black letters please remember it the book was being given by the teacher and the book had got a lot of pictures of the animals and the very names okay they were being written in big black letters do not write just black letters big black letters that is what is important in one month you will be able to read this book now he's like now what the, what does she say all righty weber okay okay all right here we go now she is like then i will give you a bigger now she say that you'll be able to read this book so now the teacher was giving her the very confirmation and an affirmation that in just a period of one month she'll be able to read the book so perfectly and then she is like after this i'm going to give you a bigger book then a still bigger one in time you'll be more learned than anyone else in the village learned is like that you're going to be very knowledgeable as compared to anybody else in this village then no one will ever be able to laugh at you now she was giving an information that to really affectionately okay she is saying that once you'll start reading okay and you'll be becoming knowledgeable and you'll be so learned nobody in this village would be laughing at you people will listen to you with respect so they are going to respect you they are going to listen to you and you'll be able to speak without the slightest stammer that means thoda sa bhi nahi haklaoge tum and you'll be able to speak so perfectly understand now she is like have you understood what did i tell you now go home and come back early tomorrow morning she is like okay now it's time to go back home and now tomorrow in the morning come back as early as possible so bholi abholi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village temple were ringing and the trees in front of the school house had blossomed into big red flowers her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life so this was very very important here and we have got the imagery everybody the figure of speech that i'm here talking about so she was feeling so good you know when there is something big that's going to happen you feel butterflies in your stomach that was the basic situation here in for bholi bholi was feeling that all the bells in the village temple they started ringing and all the trees that were there they were blossoming blossoming as in that the very beautiful big flowers they started sprouting up they started coming up okay they started growing blossoming is like growing okay kill now basically and her heart was throbbing throbbing is like ki wo bahut zyada aise pulsate kar raha tha okay bahut tez 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 chal raha tha with a new hope and new life so now she was feeling a bit encouraged for her life all right people study with rb i'm really gonna uh, block you you need to concentrate on what we are doing why being so concerned by where's the uh, dimple from just let it be okay all right is that clear to everyone is that clear to everybody yes okay now moving ahead thus the years passed okay ab kuch saal nikal gaye the village became a small town ab wo jo village tha wo ek town ban gaya theek hai the little primary school became a high school now that was a little primary school it was now being turned into high school there were now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill so jahan pe cotton banayi jati hai wo wala ek mill tha aur ek cinema bhi ban gaya tha tin ke under okay now the mail train began to stop at their railway station so now there was a train which used to stop okay at the railway station one night after dinner rambal said to his wife then shall i accept bishambar's proposal to kehta kya fir main bishambar ka proposal accept kar lu all right so yes yeah, certainly certain is like yeah definitely sure boli will be lucky to get such a well to do bridegroom bridegroom now she is like ki ha ha kar lete hain boli to bahut lucky hogi ki usko aisa dhula milega a big shop a house of his own and i heard several thousands in the bank so now she is saying that the guy all right he has got a big shop okay he has got his own house and he has got several thousands i mean that he has got a good bank balance moreover he is not asking for any dowry that means he is not asking for anything from us koi dahej nahi mang raha hai that's right now he's like acha ha fir theek hai but he's not so young you know now he now he's saying but he's not a young man okay he's quite old almost the same age 
age as I am. So you see here. And he also limps. Limps, what do you mean by limping, everybody? Throbbing is beating, right? Blossoming is like uh, growing. Okay, that is what it is. Come on, come on. What do you mean by this? <laughs> Blossoming in Hindi, we say khilna. All right. Limping, what do you mean by limping? Yes, guys, come on. Hmm. Ginning is like when you are separating the cotton fiber from the cotton. I mean, that is just one of the process in order to make the cotton. Right? That is what it is. M10 Gamer, thank you. Yeah, very good. Very good, Corby. Limping is like when you are unable to walk properly. That means langada kar chalna. Okay, so now you see that man, okay, the Bishamba's proposal, whatever he was talking about. He was talking about a man who was as same in age as that of Boli's father. And also he used to limp. That means he was ke chalta tha. Moreover, the children from his first wife are quite grown up. And moreover, he had first wife as well and they were really grown up, okay. All right, to work in all a good manner. Yes, yes, mint is going to be there, okay. Just, just hold your horses. I'm going to come to that, okay. Don't be worried. So what does it matter? Now the wife is like, how does it matter if he limps? 45 or 50? It is no great age for a man. Now he's like, now she says like 45 or 50. Like that is okay. It's no no great age for a man. We are lucky that he is from another village and doesn't know about her poke marks and her lack of sense. Now her wife is like, sorry, his wife is like that we are lucky that he doesn't know about all the insecurities that she possesses, Like all the pock marks that she has got and the lack of sense that she has got. If we don't accept this proposal, she may remain unmarried for her life. So, you know, the parents were a bit mean and selfish here. They were really ready to give in the daughter, sorry, to give their daughter to anybody who is not, uh, who is physically deformed. All right, which was actually a bad part on their parents. All right, is that clear? So we say that uh, she may remain unmarried all her life. So now she is like that. Agar hum ye proposal nahi accept karte hain, to puri zindagi avivahit reh jayegi. Oh my God, I've used a very uh, difficult kind of word. Anyway, yes, but I wonder what Bholi will say. What will that witless one say? She's a, like a dumb cow. Witless is like that somebody who is not intelligent. So the mother is like, wo mand buddhi kya bolegi? Wo to ek dumb cow ki tarah hai. Wo to ek sadharan gai ki tarah hai. Maybe you are right. Murder Ramlal. Murdering is like, dhiri dhiri bolna. Ramlal is like, haa, tum shayad sahi keh rahi ho. Wo kya hi bolegi? In the other corner of the courtyard, Bholi lay awake on her court, listening to her parents' whispered conversation. So, वहाँ पे वो सामने खटाई जो पड़ी थी, I mean जो खाट पड़ी थी, वो वहाँ पे लेटी हुई थी और वो सुन रही थी कि उसके माँबाप क्या बात कर रहे हैं उसके लिए. Bishamba Nath was a well-to-do grocer. Okay, वो grocery की उसकी shop थी. Okay, और वो अच्छा एक grocer था. He came with a big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding. तो वो एक बड़ी सी party के साथ आया. ठीक है, अपने friends के साथ, relations के साथ wedding के लिए. A brass band playing a popular tune from an Indian film headed the procession. That means headed the procession as in कि वो जो वहाँ पे drum वगैरह बज रहे थे और जो बारात निकल रही थी तो वहाँ पे एक Indian film का एक गाना चल रहा था with the bridegroom riding a decorated horse. So जो bridegroom था बिशंबर था वो एक अच्छे से एक सजे वे घोड़े पे बैठा हुआ था. The Ramlal was overjoyed to see such pomp and splendor. So such pomp and splendor basically refers to the fact of such luxury and such amazing thing. Pomp. What do you mean by pomp? Everybody, yes, guys, Pom, I'm gonna take your minty in another five minutes, okay? I mean, in another 10 minutes, okay? So, Pom is like the very ceremony which is so splendid, bohat mazedar, ek dem chaka chant. All right, that is what it is. All righty, yeah, Aditya, thank you so much. Is that making sense to everybody? Study with Arby. I'm going to take all the questions and the answers thing in the very special class. I've already shared the very uh, schedule of the special class with all of you right at the beginning of the class. Check that out and definitely enroll for the class. All right from Mumbai. Okay. Dimple, we are going to do that uh, right from the next week. Okay, not this week. That's not happening this week. Alrighty. Okay. Here we go. 
So now we are saying now he had never dreamt that his four daughter would have such a grand bead wedding. Now what happens is that Ramlal he had thought he had never thought ki itne chaka chand ke saath itne spender ke saath itna itna zada pomp and show ke saath iski is beti ki shaadi hogi. So Bholi's elder sisters who had come for the occasion were envious of her luck. Envious basically refers to jealous. ओके okay, आप जो उसकी जो बड़ी बहनें तीनों आई थी वो बड़ी ही जेलसी फील कर रही थी कि इसका इतना अच्छा लक है इतने कमाल तरीके से इसकी शादी हो रही है ऑल राइट इज द क्लियर आदित्य इन द कॉन्टेक्स हेयर इन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्प्लेंडर ओके नाउ व्हेन द ऑस्पिशियस मोमेंट केम द प्री सेड ब्रिंग द ब्राइड नाउ ऑस्पिशियस मोमेंट इज कि जब वो शुभ मुहूर्त आया तो प्रीस ने पंडित जी ने क्या बोला कि कन्या को लाओ ओके भोली क्लैड इन अ रेड सिल्कन ब्राइडल ड्रेस क्लैड इज लाइक दैट शी वाज कंप्लीटली रैप्ड ओके इन अ रेड सिल्क ब्राइडल ड्रेस ओके सिल्क कलर का रेड कलर का उसने एक ब्राइडल की ड्रेस पहनी हुई थी was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire so wahan pe jahan pe puja honi thi all right i mean jahan pe bhi jo bhi rasam hoti hai wo honi thi wahan pe usko leke aate hain garland the bride one of his friends prompted bishambar nath so now garland the bride basically means ki ladki ko mala pehnao okay the bridegroom lifted the garland of yellow marigolds so wo marigold marigold in hindi what do we say people splendor is like the very pomp शो लाइक इन इन हिंदी वी से टू बी लाइक चका चौंत काइंड ऑफ थिंग ओके मतलब बहुत ही जोर शोर से कमाल तरीके से चीजें होना दैट इज वॉट इट इज पॉक मार्क्स इज बेसिकली रेफरिंग टू द स्कॉस ऑल राइट द स्कॉस Hey, top in data. Hi, dear. Mother is like murmuring. Okay. So now, Mary goes them. ठीक है. A woman slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face. So now, what happened is silken veil. Veil is like घूंगर. ओके okay, तो so एक औरत ने लड़की के चेहरे से वो घूंघट हटाया बिशंबर टुक अ क्विक ग्लांस बिशंबर ने एक बारी में ऐसे देखा ओके द गार्लन रिमेन पॉइस इन एन वो जो माला थी ना वो उसके हाथ में ही रह गई द ब्राइट स्लोली पुल डाउन द वेल ओवर हर फेस अब जो ब्राइट थी यानी कि भोली थी उसने धीरे से घूंघट वापस से नीचे किया एव यू सीन हर सेट बिशंबर टू द फ्रेंड नेक्स्ट टू हेम शी हैज पोक मार्क्स ऑन हर फेस अब बिशंबर क्या कहते हैं तुमने इसे देखा इसके चेहरे पे पोक मार्क्स हैं सो व्हाट यू आर नॉट यंग इधर तो उसका फ्रेंड कहता है तू क्या फर्क पड़ता है तू कौन सा जवान है ओके मे बी बट इफ आई एम टू मैरी हर हर फादर मस्ट गिव मी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ ही इज लाइक अच्छा ठीक है ओके लेकिन ठीक है तुम सही कह रहे हो लेकिन अगर मुझे इससे शादी करनी है तो मुझे पांच चाहिए Ramlal went and placed his turban, his honor at Bishambar's feet. So now Ramlal ने क्या किया कि अपनी पगड़ी निकाल के बिशंबर के पैरों में रख दी ओके डू नॉट ह्यूमिलेट मी सो वो कह रहे हैं कि आप मुझे प्लीज ऐसे बेजत मत करो टेक टू थाउजेंड रुपीज आप दो हजार रुपए ले लो नो फाइव थाउजेंड और वी गो बैक पांच हजार दो वन हम वापस जा रहे हैं Keep your daughter. He is like अपनी बेटी को अपने पास रखो Be a little considerate, please. Considerate basically is कि थोड़ा सोचो थोड़ा consider करो थोड़ा concern दिखाओ Okay, now the father he was pleading, he was requesting. If you go back, I can never show my face in the village. अगर आप चले जाओगे तो मैं अपना चेहरा इस village में, इस गांव में किसी को नहीं दिखा पाऊँगा. Then out of it five thousand. Then he is like, तो ठीक है निकालो पांच हजार रुपए. He was streaming down his face. उसके चेहरे से आंसू बहने लगे. Streaming means that it started flowing. Okay. Ramlal went uh, went in. Opened the safe and counted out the notes. He placed the bundle at the bridegroom's feet. उसने पैसे किने उसने लाके लड़के के पैरों में रख दी. Is that clear, everyone? Is that clear to everyone? Pleading is like requesting. Okay. On Bishambar's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile. So you know Bishambar, he was a very greedy man. So on his very face, it was like, oh my God, I have done this. Triumphant is like he cheated on him. Okay, victory. He had gambled and won. मतलब उसने दाव लगाया और वो जीत गया. ओके गैम्बलिंग इज लाइक कि जब आप दाव लगा रहे हो और आप जीत रहे हो दैट इज व्हाट गैम्बलिंग गिव मी द गार्लन ही नाउ नाउ ही इज लाइक कि आप मुझे माला दो वंस अगेन द वेल वाज स्लिप बैक फ्रॉम द ब्राइट्स फेस बट दिस टाइम हर आईज वर नॉट डाउनकास्ट नाउ अब क्या हुआ कि उसके चेहरे से घूंघट वेल इज घूंघट ओके फिर से हटाया लेकिन इस बार लड़की जो है वो नीचे नहीं देख रही थी वो सामने देख रही थी ओके शी वाज लुकिंग अप लुकिंग स्ट्रेट एट हर प्रोस Prospective husband. Prospective is like who was standing right in front of her. She was looking right into his eyes, and in her eyes there was neither anger nor hate, only cold contempt. Contempt is like dislike. 
okay there was that cold dislike like wherein in that situation she couldn't really uh, say anything she couldn't really behave or she couldn't really say anything bad so वहां पे उसके उसके जो आंखों में ना ना ही नफरत थी ना ही गुस्सा था बट एक कोल्ड कंटेंट था दैट मींस डिसलाइक विशंबर रेज द गार्लैंड टू प्लेस इट अराउंड द ब्राइड्स नेक बट बिफोर ही कुड डू सो बोल हिज हैंड स्ट्रक आउट लाइक अ स्ट्रीक ऑफ लाइटनिंग एंड द गार्लैंड वाज फ्लंग इनटू द फायर very important everybody please understand this okay so what happened is now she was just looking with a dislike okay and when he was just about to put the garland around her neck what did she do usne her heart se aise feka wo mala ki wo mala udti hui wahan pe jo aag jal rahi thi usme ja ke giri all right so a streak of lightning like hand struck out like a streak of lightning you know jab lightning hoti hai you know ye thunderstorms and all so jab lightning padti hai to wo kya karti hai jo jagah ko barbaad karti hai aag laga deti hai right like that so same happened there ki uska haath aise tha ki jaise ki koi lightning padi aur seedha mala udti hui gayi wahan pe fire mein she got up and threw away the veil wo khadi hui aur usne apna jo ghungar tha phek diya pitaji now she is like father said bolie in a clear loud voice bahut hi sahi awaaz mein saaf awaaz mein and her father mother sisters brothers relations and neighbors were startled startled as in shock okay to hear her speak without even the slightest stammer so wo log sab shock ho gaye ki ye bilkul bhi haklai nahi isne seedha bola pitaji pitaji take back your money i'm not going to marry this man so she is like aap apna paisa wapas le lo main is aadmi se shaadi nahi karungi ramlal was thundered struck the important he was greatly shocked okay thunder struck is like greatly shocked all right people is that making sense everybody so the guests began to whisper ab sab log kya kare khus phus chalu ho gaye sab logo ke theek hai so shameless kitni badtameez hai koi sharam hi nahi hai itni gandi aur itni shameless hai holy are you crazy ramlal is like kya tu pagal ho gayi hai you want to disgrace your family tujhe apni family ki beizzati karwani hai have some regard for our izzat that means ki thodi to sharam kar le hamari izzat ke liye okay for the sake of your izzat now bholi is like aapki izzat ke liye i was willing to marry this lame old man main is budde apahij aadmi se shaadi karne wali thi aapke liye but i will not have such a mean matlab itna mean itna selfish itna hi greedy insan all right and contemptible coward as my husband now see the way she's saying she's saying itna badtameez itna greedy itna lalchi itna selfish aadmi aur ek number ka coward contemptible coward basically refers to a person who is not at all courageous and brave all right as my husband aise aadmi ko main apna pati banau so i won't i won't i won't she is like main nahi karungi shaadi what a shameless girl we all thought she was a harmless dumb cow kehne ki kitni badtameez ladki hai humme sabko ye lagta tha ki bilkul hi matlab ye ek bilkul gaye okay ek innocent si gaye bolie turned violently on the old man ab wo gusse se us aadmi ki taraf dekh rahi hai yes aunty you are right you all thought i was a dumb driven cow that's why you wanted to hand me over to this heartless creature But now the dumb cow, the stammering fool, is speaking. Now, do you want to hear more? Bishamba, now the grocer started to go back with his party. The confused bandsmen thought this was the end of the ceremony and struck up a closing song. Now, what happened is she was so bold. She was really so bold at this moment, and she was like, "That you are such a heartless creature. Like, you have never thought that I am like this. I am a stammering fool. I am a hackless fool. I am a dumb cow. Okay? But now I am saying something. So, do you want to hear something else? This is how she said. And now, Bishamba, now the grocer. I mean, the person who was there to marry her, who was going 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 to marry her, who yes yes everyone all right people so now we are at the very last part okay ramla stood rooted to the ground matlab ramla jahan khada tha wo wahi khada reh gaya rooted to the ground is like he didn't even move now his head bowed low with the weight of grief and shame now uska jo sar tha wo sharam se jhuka hua tha ठीक है द फ्लेम्स ऑफ द सीक्रेट फायर स्लोली डाई डाउन मतलब वहां पे जो उन्होंने वो फायर लगाया हुआ था ओके इट आल्सो सेटल सो एवरीवन वाज गॉन एवरीबडी वेंट अवे रामला टर्न टू बोलिए सेड व्हाट व्हाट अबाउट यू नो वन विल मैरी यू नाउ व्हाट शुड वी डू विद यू 
and Suleika said in a voice that was calm and steady, don't you worry Pitaji, in your old age I will serve you and mother and I will teach in the same school where I learned so much. Isn't that right ma'am? The teacher had all along stood in a corner watching the drama. Yes, Bholi, of course, she replied. And in her smiling eyes was the light of deep satisfaction that an artist feels while, when contemplating the completion of her masterpiece. Very important piece. So now, finally, the teacher, she had transformed Bholi completely because of the very faith that she showed in Bholi. Bholi was able to overcome her weakness. And that is the most important point. Is that clear? Dumb driven cow basically means बिल्कुल एकदम जिसे कहते हैं ना innocent type of person जिससे कुछ भी करवा लो कुछ भी बोल दो और सीधा सीधा करता जाएगा एकदम गाय type गाय मतलब as in की बहुत ही सीधा साधा creature कुछ भी बोलो कुछ भी करो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है is that clear everyone yeah dimple but not for nineties my dear okay that are like the sessions they are going to be for tenties okay at least for this week is that clear to everybody? So now she she was so nice. She was like, Papa, you don't have to I'm going to serve you. I'm going to serve you and mom and I'm going to this school. And I'm going to do everything in a good way. So the teacher, she was standing right in the corner and she was looking at the air, air. Sorry, she was looking at everything. And she was so satisfied that she had literally made a masterpiece. Contemplating is like when you are thinking hard. All right, when you're thinking hard. So now she was happy that finally a masterpiece usne bana diya, complete ho gaya by making her speak flawlessly without any stammering. Is that clear to everybody? Yes, guys. Is that clear? Yes, guys. Clear to everyone? Completion is like completing something. Khatam karna. That is what it is. Is that clear, guys? Okay, so now we are going to move towards our minty quiz. Everybody stay tuned. We are going to have 20 questions. Alrighty, here we are. I hope that you all can see the screen. Just give me a confirmation if you can see the screen well, right? Here we go. And 20 questions would be there right in front of you all. So make sure that you all are joining in as quick as you all can. And then we are going to move ahead. Okay, here we are. Yes, people. Come on, everyone. Yes, everyone. Thank you, Dimple. Thank you so much. That's the so speed of you, dear. Everybody, again, see 21 students are in. What about others? Guys, don't forget to join me right at 4 o'clock, okay? We are going to have this open house session so you guys can talk to me and I'm going to tell you all like how you should be going ahead with your chapters. I can see only 25 students. What about others? Come on, guys. Join in as quick as you all can. I want all of you to be there so that you all can just learn it well. Twenty-eight. May I go ahead? I'm gonna wait for another one minute and I'm gonna start it now. All right. Aditya, how have you been doing? It's been quite a long time since we connect. I mean, I couldn't see you in the sessions. Ajra, really? Where are you from? In which city are you? Aditya, I'm pretty well now. Thank you so much, dear. I'm quite fine. Thank you. That was so sweet of you. Alrighty, people. We are going to make the move now. Here we go. The question is right in front of you. And here we are. So, who is the artist work of art? Alrighty, here we go. Bolis friend, Boli, Boli's cow, or Boli's teacher. What is the right answer? Alright, Anushka, my dear, just be calm. Like Dimple is a very regular student. She's really a bright student, so she studies quite well. I really request you to just stay calm, okay? Alrighty. Guys, it wasn't Boli. I mean, it wasn't Boli's teacher. Like I'm saying, who is the artist work of art? 
so who is here the artist work it is actually bholi bholi is the artist work right she is actually the masterpiece that is being created by the teacher so you have to be a bit thoughtful when you are answering the question did you all get that pratham i am very well thank you niharika hey hi there guys the masterpiece here is bholi she was being created by the teacher are you all getting that well did you understand the question it's important let's have a look at the leader word right b for bholi righty here we go and who are here so you raj are the very first position on the fastest one grades there you made me pro in english ma'am that's pretty cool great b is incarnate aditya as usual rocking on the leader board symbol great top 10 data okay harshita karvi hey boss hi dear tanu okay we have got bholi oh my god that's pretty nice and divansh how's the josh quite well quite okay All righty, here we go. Okay, you're from Chavi, but you stay in Delhi. Yeah, that's where exactly in Delhi you are. Question number two on your screen, everybody. Here we go. Easy, easy question. Dimple, why are you being so much interested in tenth session? Why didn't you just study your ninth grade thing? What did it demand as dowry? Money, refrigerator, television, or all of the above? Quite an easy question. Not that difficult. You all can do it quite well. Okay. Thirty-three money very good. Who said all of the above, guys? Nowhere I've mentioned refrigerator and television. And how much money was being demanded in the comment section right away? Yeah, Madhu, you're right. Pradham, you're right. Shubhika, you're right. Yes, guys, you're very right about this. So everyone in the comment section right away. How much money? <clears throat> oh, Aditya, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's good, good, good. All righty, here we go. And the uh, five thousand. Okay, five thousand. Devan, Shubhika, Corvi. Mama, the answer bowl. How is it given in the book? Like, is it numbered or is it just uh, given in the words? That is where now I'll see how many of you were really reading the chapter well. Ek lakh tofik. You were really not in the class. I can really bet on this. How was it being written, everybody? Five K. Don't write like this in your examination, guys. How was it written in your book? Like, was it worded? Was it written in numbers? Come on. How? Words. So that is how you need to write. Okay, that's how you need to write. It's it's your language paper. You have to be very strict with the numbers. I've I've been saying this in. Most of my sessions, very good, very good. Five thousand it is. Let's have a look at the leaderboard, and here we go. So Yuvraj is at the very first position. Then Z, then Ad. Okay, Yuvraj, then Aditya, then Z, then top ten data. Sumbul, Poli, Sid, Karvi, Harshita, and Tanu. So the new students, welcome to the leaderboard. It's good to see you all here on the leaderboard. Question number three on your screen, and here we go. Alrighty, let's see. What was in her eyes when the veil was pulled down the second time? Okay, hate, fear, contempt, or none of the above. What is the right answer? We are talking about the second situation. What is it? Dimple, you will become one. Just keep on working hard, and then you are gonna be like that. Okay. So thirteen more seconds for everyone. What is the right answer? Ten more seconds now. Shubhika says C. Madhu says C. Alrighty, let's see if it goes like that. Okay, yeah, Tafik. No, I'm not the new teacher. I'm the old teacher. I think that you're the new student here. And guys, where was it being mentioned? Okay, what exactly is being given? Contemptible. What? What? What exactly is the word that's being given? in your book people i told you okay so what was in her eyes when the veil was pulled down the second time hate wasn't there okay anger wasn't there this was so clearly mentioned fear was definitely not there who all were not listening to me contempt was there okay she was she had that dislike for him and her eyes they were not downcast so 23 students please contemptible right contempt dimple yeah you're right about it okay All righty. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. So twenty-three students. Very well done. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What exactly the leaderboard here is talking about? <clears throat> 
So, okay, other uh, is the fastest one. Anna is at the first position. Then Yura, then Zed, then Sumbul, then Zed, then Devan, Sharshita, Tanu, Nikhil, and Niharika. Go with the new students. Welcome to the leaderboard. Uh, this I've completed my English paper. That's why. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, alrighty. Okay, Ajra. Now, question number four on your screen. And here we are. What is the meaning of the word in ways? Quite an easy word, right? Not that difficult. And please pay attention to all the words. And of course, I'm going to have your vocabulary test from your slavers. I'm going to have that in this week only. So just be prepared for that. Okay, 15 more seconds. Jealous looking down on someone. Hatred on none of the above. What's the right answer, guys? Mother says, hey, Harka says, hey, hey, Alex, you're a little late to say hi to me. But anyway, hi. Oh my god, people, don't do this, yaar. You guys are not listening to me. I'm not liking this. Everybody, I do. And who, who was envious? Who was envious? Where did we use this word in the given chapter? Who all were listening to me? In the comment section, jealous. You're right, Dimple Corby. You're right about that. Very nice. Who was jealous, guys? Who was jealous? Come on. Envious is jealous. Her sisters, Madhu, her sisters. Jeans, you're right about that. So people just pay attention, okay? Envy is looking down on someone. Envy is like the word envy. The This very particular word has been made from the word envy. And from that comes, it so directly comes to your mind. It means jealousy. Okay, so please keep that in your mind. 21 students, you guys are totally right about that. It basically means jealousy. All right. Is that clear to everybody? Yes, guys. Her sisters, they were being jealous. Okay, that's pretty right. Let's move ahead. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What is the leaderboard telling us? Bholi's sisters, not sister, dimple, sisters. Okay, so who are there on the leaderboard? I've got Yvraj, the fastest one. Then I've got Aditya, then Zed, then Said, then Devansh, Nyarika, Thanu, Karthik, free board from 15. Okay, you're going to rock it. Don't be worried about it, okay? And Karvi and Sambul. Alrighty. Now we are going to move to the next question. Question number five on your screen. Here we go. All right, what does it talk about? Why did Bholi's parents accept Bishambar's marriage proposal? Please remember the spelling correctly. Okay, it's not Bishambar. It's Bishambar. Okay, and it's not B-A-R. It's B-E-R. All right, these things really matter. So don't be so very much lenient about it. All righty. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, here we go. So why did Bholi's parents accept Bishamba's marriage proposal? He has a big shop, he has a house, he has good bank balance or all of the above. What is the right answer everyone? Vivek D. Okay, Ajo says D. Muskan says D. Shubhika says D. Okay, all right. Okay, very good guys. He has a big shop that was right and he has a house of its own but that was also right. Okay, and he has a good bank balance that was also right. All right, so all of the above. So that's the right thing and the two students I'm just assuming it to be a misclick. Okay. Here we go. Now let's move ahead to the next question. Guys, do not forget to hit the like button. I hope that you're loving the session. And people, whatever uh, chapters we had done previously, I hope that you all have revised it because I made you all done the very question answers. The extra question answers were also being done. Now, like the next week, I'll be coming up with the PYQs for all of you. So stay tuned for that too. And of course, we are going to go ahead with the grammar and our writing. So to make sure that you're not missing any of these sessions. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Muskan about that. Yuvraj at the first position. Uh, Aditya, the fastest one. Zed, Niharika, Siddhi, Vansh, Tanu, Kate, Karvi, and Sambul. Let's move ahead, everybody, to the next question. Question number six on your screen. And here we go. Alrighty. How did she leave school on the first day? Alright. Sad with a ray of hope or new life. Depressed that she'll stay where she is. None of the above. What exactly is the right answer? Uh, Dimple, we're going to do that from the next week. Okay rapid kind of sessions would be there so make sure that you everybody i mean uh, the grammar sessions they are going to be the combined session for the 90s and 10s so don't be worried about that we are going to deal with that okay of course not guys depressed that she'll stay where she is of course not why was she excited 
guys why was she good why was there a ray of hope everybody give me an answer in the comment section we are going to deal with the question answers of this chapter on 10th of feb right at 8 pm on the app okay so be right there okay alrighty great 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 guys come on answer please yeah vivek if you can write d like just a single letter would also do i would understand that your answer is d okay in your next session that after completing a particular chapter in english show what should we do james asked me this question in the open house okay meet me there right at four o'clock we are gonna be there okay yes Z, I of course remember you dear her teacher treated her very nice okay and what else people come on tell me guys you know this okay come on everybody that you will no longer stammer and become more learned than the entire village all right after years of gaining education and with the help of teacher boli turned into a confident girl no no no, no. i'm not talking about that Aditya. what i'm talking here about is that how was like why was she so very much filled with a ray of hope and a new life on the very first day when she left the teacher was very encouraging and friendly to her and this made her gain confidence but yeah that is the right answer she started seeing a ray of very good Aditya. that's right okay yeah that's right her teacher gave her neharika you'll see that dear you will all uh, like you'll see that i'll share them very session okay you'll come to know on the app if you've downloaded the app you'll see me there okay now we are gonna move to the leaderboard let's look at the leaderboard here we go and who all are there so yuvraj is at the first position then aditya the fastest one zed neharika said devansh khatik karvi symbol and strawberry hey welcome to the leaderboard now we are gonna move to the next question question number seven on your screen here we go who comforted boli quite an important question okay okay everybody is saying d very good her teacher very nice okay is there a name of the teacher in the given chapter anybody is there a name of the teacher in the given chapter do you see that do you see that nope okay so aditya at the first position then yuvrad and zayn the harika said devansh kathik sambul marib and strawberry great guys now we're gonna move to the next question question number eight right on your screen let's have a look everyone everyone so what did it take for bully to believe that she was being taken to a place better than home uh like clean dress hair oiling a bath or you say all of the above what exactly is the right answer yeah muskania right about that yes dear okay so 30 students you are very right about that like clean dress hair oiling and a bath right so the dress belong to whom everyone the dress belong to whom guys anybody do you know the answer the dress belonged to whom everyone yes guys come on come on come on no 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 her older sister what was the name corvi you're right about that what was the name of the champa corvi you're right yeah champa is the right answer guys just please remember okay is it champa what okay champa right you're right about that very good very good and why didn't uh, champa wear the dress what was the reason about it why didn't champa wear the dress everybody Champa, you're right about that. Muskan, Karvi, Prachi, older sister. Prachi, I'm asking you the name, my dear. You need to tell me the exact information. Whenever I ask you any question, no, please be very exact. I should know like what you are trying to say. Like the very exactness must be there. Alrighty. 
Yeah, here we go. So, Aditya are the first position, then Yuvra, then Zed, Niharika, Devan, Sred, Kartik, Sumbul, Strawberry, and Marie. Now, we are moving to the next question. Question number nine on your screen, everybody, okay? Yeah, because that dress didn't fit her anymore, right? Chimps, you are right about that. All right, why did she suggest they send Bholi to school? There was little chance of her getting married. Her husband couldn't uh, disobey Tessilda's orders. She took it to teachers at school uh, school to worry about her or you say all of that. What is the right answer? Muskan, it's going to be the next week, okay? Most probably next Monday. okay because the dress okay all right corby you're right about that two one and the time is up now so what is it okay what a great confusion great guys of course all the things right she took it to teachers at school to worry about her this is what she mentioned like the women the the mother mentioned this she also mentioned the b point her husband could done to disobey tesilda's orders that was also the thing that was being mentioned and there was little chance of her getting married everything was so clearly mentioned these are the three things that the women said right that like let it be do what you want to do and of course like she there there is a very little chance that she's going to get a good bridegroom and of course she mentioned that let the teachers handle her at the school this is what she said so please remember this it's quite an important question and herein the correct answer is your d option that is all of the above okay so that is pretty the right answer is that clear to everybody yes okay now we are moving to the uh, leaderboard let's have a look at the leaderboard what does the leaderboard talk about I have got Beast Incarnate at the first position, that is Aditya, then Zed, you're the fastest one, then Yubra, then Niharika, Devansh, Karthik, Sen, Sumbul, Strawberry, and Darshika. Great, guys. Here we go. Alrighty. Now, we are moving to the next question. Question number 10 on your screen. Okay. <clears throat> what did the Tessildar ask Ramlal to do? What is the right answer here? <laughs> Dimple, no worries. Okay, do it correct the next year. What did the Tessilar ask Ramlal to do? Drop, uh, drop him back to the city, have dinner with him, send his daughters to school or none of the above. What is the right answer? 13, 12, 11, 10 more seconds. Okay, everybody voted. That's pretty good. Send his daughters to school. Drop him back to the city. Of course, guys, this is not the answer. Who all answered this? I'm just taking it to be a wrong answer. Okay, that is not the right one. Send his daughters to school. That's right. Okay, 31 students. Very right. Now, let's move ahead to the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard talk about? And here I see that Aditya is at the first position. Then it's there. Then Yubra, then Niharika, Devansh, Karthik, Sid, Sumbul, Strawberry, and Murray. Great. Now we are moving. Okay, we are halfway through our mentee. Everybody, congratulations if all your answers were correct. Question number 11. Yes, daughters, dimple daughters. How is the situation of the house described? Okay, so what is it? Poor, miserable, prosperous, or fine. So there's a word that has been used in the given chapter. And what is that? So tell me the answer, please, everyone. What is the answer, Heron? 13, 12, 11, 10 more seconds, okay? Muskan, that's so sweet of you, dear. That's such a sweet comment. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. So how is the situation of the house described? Okay, it's prosperous. Guys, it's nowhere poor. It's nowhere miserable. It's nowhere fine. The word prosperous has been used so very much vividly in the given chapter and made it so clear. Okay, so please. Yeah, Dimple, you're right about that. Mohamed, Vivek, you're right about that. And Zed, you're right about that. Harshita, you're right about that. Vivek, no, my dear, you're wrong about it. Okay, you, you said two and then you said C. Alrighty, so somewhere you knew the answer okay let's move ahead everyone and uh, let's check the leaderboard what does it really talk about Alrighty, here we are prosperous is wealthy yes so aditya is at the first position then i've got zed then yuvrar then harika then devansh then Karthik, then stop breathe then symbol then said then marie cool now we are moving to the next question question number 12 on your screen and here we go Alrighty, at what age did she begin to speak? Very easy question. 2, 5, 4 or 1? 2, 5, 4 or 1? At what age did she begin to speak? Hmm. 
Yes, guys, why are you taking this long? I mean, you guys could have given the answer so quick. Three, two, one, and the time is up. Alrighty. So the answer seems to be quite obvious. God, who said this two and four, guys? This is such a clear thing, right? If you guys have read the chapter on your own as well, you would have come to know about this. The correct answer is five. Okay, please remember it. It's a it's a very important detail. Okay, so that's the right answer. Let's move ahead. Now we are moving to the next thing. And what does it talk about? Bully is a child different from other. This difference makes her an object of neglect and laughter. Elaborate. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, Niharika, catch me in the very open house session. I'll, I'll tell you, okay? You can just take up the doubt therein. Aditya, the fastest one, Zed, Yavra, Niharika, Khatik, Devan, Strawberry, Sumbul, Marib, and Chimes. Hey, good to see you on the leaderboard. Now, question number 13 on your screen, guys. Here we are. Let's move ahead. Okay, here we are. Hey there. Okay, yeah. Hi there. What damage some part of her brain? Falling off a coat or falling off the stairs, falling off a veranda or small box? What exactly is the right answer? Everyone be quick in telling this answer to me. What is it? A, B, C or D. What is it? Everyone. okay time is up already falling falling off the stairs guys where did i mention this it's nowhere given right it is falling off a coat right that's the right answer come on people don't do like that okay and smallpox of course not that is not the right answer all right now we are moving ahead to the next thing and this is the leaderboard Coat is a bed wherein the baby are being led. Okay, that means that you have a small like a type of in a rural area where a small child is being led. That is what it is. Okay, Sarah. Yeah, so other than the first position, the fastest one, then Zaid, Yavra, Neharika, Khatik, Diwan, Sumbul, Stop, Brim, Marib, and Mohammed. Great, guys. Now we are going to move to the next thing and the question number 14 on your screen. Here we go. So, how many siblings did Boli have? One, two, four, or six. Be careful in giving the correct answer. Everybody, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Madan says six. Siblings, bhai behen. Siblings is like bhai behen. Aapke blood uh, relation aapka. Very good. 21 students, of course not, guys. Where where exactly 4 has been given? It's 6, okay? Keep that in your mind. 21 students, you guys doing it so well. All right. Now, let's have a look at the leaderboard. People, please pay attention to all the minute details that are there, okay? If you are just taking it very lightly and you're not reading the chapters carefully this time, my dear, you're not going to nail it in your examination. You really need to be very strong about this, okay? Yeah, you're right about that. Very good, Chimps. You're right about that. Here we go. So, Beast Incarnate, Aditya, you're the fastest one. Then, Zed, then Yavra, Neharika, Khatik, Devan, Sumbul, Strawberry, Marib, and Umar. Good to see you on the leaderboard, dear. That's really amazing. Very nice. Question number 15 on your screen. So, now we are left with the last 15 questions. Okay. Here we are. Okay. What do you mean by the word simpleton? Simple, foolish, basic, or none of the above? What is the right answer? Yes, A, B, C, or D. Please uh, give me the answer in the context of this very particular chapter, okay? Like, what exactly is the answer in the context of this chapter? Go ahead and she'll go ahead with the question. Fuller, okay, Chimps. Ashita says B. Study with Divrat says A. Alrighty, here we are. 
guys no please don't think like that okay i was really expecting this to be the answer don't think that since the word simpleton is given so that is why it means simple no okay that is not the case in the context of the chapter it simply means foolish and keep that in your mind it's a very very important word because boli the character has been described by this adjective the simpleton and when we are going to do the character analysis of this uh, particular character in that also we are going to deal with this only is that clear everybody yes so please keep that in your mind it's an important detail now we are going to move ahead and let's go ahead okay leaderboard here we are so aditya is at the first position and then i've got z and then you've raj the fastest one then niharika kartik strawberry umar chims devansh and sumbul great everyone here we go now question number 16 on your screen everybody here we are why oh sorry what did vishamba demand as dowry okay i hope everyone does know the meaning of dowry this is not something new for anybody right here right come on everyone yes guys come on what is the right answer 14 more seconds for everybody right there Yeah, Prachi has been blocked, my dear. Don't worry, I do not really entertain any student who is not had to study. Okay, fifty thousand. Oh my God, Muskan. No, my dear, it's just five thousand. Okay, so twenty-seven students. You guys are right about that. Alrighty, here we go. Let's have a look at the leaderboard, and we have got Aditya at the first position. Then I've got Zed. Then Yuvraj. Then I have got okay Beast Incarnate at the first position. Then Zen Niharika Kartik Yuvraj Strawberry Umar Chim Sambal and Mari. Mari, you have been doing good. I I think that you are a new student because I see you for the first time on the leaderboard today. Alrighty, here we go. Okay. Aditya, don't worry. In my session, she has been blocked, so you guys can chill. Okay. How did Bhuli find the teacher on her very first day in the school? Cruel, hard, kind, and loving, or you say all of the above? Twenty more seconds for everybody right there, and what exactly is going to be the right answer? A, B, C, or D? What is it? Quite an easy question, right? So A, B, C, or D? Kind and loving, right, Dimple? Shubhika, you guys are right about that. Zed, you are right about that. Okay, twenty-seven students. You guys are right about it. Now we are gonna move to the next uh, thing. And who all are there on the leaderboard? So let's have a look. Who all are there on the leaderboard? I have got Aditya at the very first position. All right. Okay, Marie, that's pretty good, dear. That's really good. Good to see you. Aditya at the first position. Then Zed, Neharika, Kati, Givraj, the fastest one, Strawberry, Momma, Dumar, and Chim, Sumbul, and Marie. Omar, you've been doing good. Great. Okay, Carvi, Carvi, uh, sorry, kind and loving. That's right. And yeah, let's have a look at the results. Okay, not the results, but yeah, question number eighteen on your screen. Muskan, that's such a sweet comment, dear. Thank you so much. Who was Lakshmi? So, Bolly's mother, Bolly's cow, Bolly's teacher, Bolly's classmate. What exactly is the right answer? Okay, B. Dimple is saying Bolly's cow. Okay, alrighty, guys. It was nowhere mentioned Bolly's classmate or mother. You have to be very particular about it. Okay, it is Bolly's cow. Alrighty, now let's move ahead to the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard talk about? So Aditya is at the first position. Alright, here you go. Yeah, usual because I've got a bad throat and I really start feeling pain in my throat, so that's why I have to take in the water, okay, so that I can keep speaking and you guys do not really feel hindered in your speaking at all, okay? So that's why I have to take in the water. Alrighty, how we go? And Aditya at the first position: Zed, Neharika, Kartik, Yuvraj, Strawberry, Umar, Chim, Sumbul, and Mari. Alright, no Neharika, my dear, I don't teach. Eleventh grade. Okay, here we go. How was Bolly treated in the family? 
already it's quite an important question okay when we are going to deal with the very um chapter now i mean when we are going to deal with the our uh character analysis basically therein we would have to just use the right kind of words in order to show the inclination of the family towards bholi okay hey harshika so 29 students you guys are absolutely right about it let's move ahead everybody so other the other positions there niharika kartik ivra strawberry umar chim sumbul and marib now we are moving to the last question and let's look like who is going to be the winner after this of course the one who is leading well now why did tetsindar come to ramlal's village okay what was the reason for this already uh, here we are to uh, perform the opening ceremony of the girls school to attend radha's wedding to meet the uh, village people or you say all of the above what exactly is the right answer guys come on come up with the right answer dimple then my dear you should okay because that's really important for our good health okay already very nice very good 24 students all of the above of course not to attend radha's wedding no to meet the village people no to perform the opening ceremony that is the inauguration of the girls school okay so that is what you have to keep in your mind already people let's have a final look at the very winner and aditya made it today then zain niharika kartik yura strawberry umar chim sambal and marif congratulations to all the 10 students you guys really did it so well really very nice aditya very many congratulations my dear so everyone it's pretty important that you guys keep on revising the chapters that we are already done with okay and or, or just learn all the answers that i provided you all and keep attending the sessions do not miss any session that can help you score good marks in your examination now i would like to share with all of you about the plus subscription pricing we have got different monthly plans you guys can go ahead with any plan that suits you the best be it 48 months 42 months 36 months 24 months 18 months 15 months 12 months 9 months 6 months or 3 months PSH ten is the code, my dear. Make use of this code; it will give you straightforward ten percent discount and will make your life super duper easier as well. Alrighty, people. So just go ahead with this if you really want a, a kind of a guidance from me. Then go ahead with this. Okay. <clears throat> okay muskan we get that deal and guys we are coming up with the batches okay for the 90s just impart the information to all your friends to your juniors for doubt clearing batch for math science and social science and it's going to be delivered in english that is it's going to be a mix of your hindi as well as english and it is going to be started i mean it started right from today 7th feb so you will have ankit sir muskan ma'am again ankit sir and himal ma'am uh, sorry himal sir and shalini ma'am okay so go ahead with this for your good don't miss out anything Okay, in CBSE class nine, mission term two for all the subjects starting date is fourteen Feb. It is going to be delivered in English. The mode of communication would be English. So you will have Kavita ma'am, Vinay sir, Muskan ma'am, Bhavna ma'am, and Vanda ma'am. Okay, so this is going to be for all the subjects. So please be there. Alrighty, and guys, target term two for all the subject crash course plus sample paper. It's gonna be an amazing batch. Please do not miss this. All the tenthies. It's an important thing. It's gonna be started from fourteen Feb. Uh, delivery. The mode of delivery would be Hindi. So guys, you can be there if you really want to achieve good marks in mission term two. All subjects. Okay, again, crash course plus sample paper. Here in the mode of delivery would be English, and it's gonna be started from fourteen Feb. So be right there. Don't miss this out. Alright, it's gonna. be an important session for everyone i mean important batch and guys then we have got bugs bounty it's an opportunity for all the learners to report any inappropriate content in the video so be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize report any inappropriate content using the form which is given in the description below so if you think that while teaching you find that something which is inappropriate you guys can report that okay and you're going to claim prize for that Moving ahead, guys, an academy combat scholarship test for success in CBSE class nine and ten. Pre-registration is there. Combat is available in English and Hindi. Thirty questions in forty-five minutes. You will have to do detailed video solution for each question would be given. Medals for top three rankers and merit certificate for top twenty-five rankers win from a scholarship pool of rupee one crore. Terms and conditions apply. Of course, enroll right away. It's gonna happen every Sunday at eleven a.m. Please use the code PSH ten and be right there. 
okay and guys we have got amazing benefits as well rank 1 to 3 will get one year plus subscription rank 4 to 10 75 percent scholarship rank 11 to 50 50 percent scholarship rank 51 to 150 25 percent scholarship so guys go ahead with this for sure because combat's there for you you so that you all can just do well in your examination and rewards worth rupee one crore would be there you all can win up to 100 percent scholarship gold silver bronze medals for top three rankers respectively rank one gold medal plus merit certificate rank two silver medal plus merit certificate rank three bronze medal plus merit certificate certificates of merit for top 25 rankers cbsc class 9 and 10 it is and use the code psh10 to enroll right away guys never ever miss combat they are for your good and guys we have got an academy prisons prodigy i hope you guys have been doing well in the prodigy and this is basically for class 7 to 10 learners you all can win scholarship and prizes while testing your knowledge and mental ability and uh, enroll now for free Jan 23 29 we are done with that fib 6 we are done with that we are just left with just one date make sure you're gonna rock it well 12 to 1 is the timing for more details click on the link which is given in the description so an academy prodigy test Scholarship test for class 7 to 8 and 9 to 10 learners. Slavers mental aptitude, verbal ability, journal science and logical reasoning. Sunday, Jan 23rd, 12 to 1. Saturday, Jan 29th, 12 to 1. Sunday, Feb 6th, 12 to 1. Sunday, Feb 13th, 12 to 1. This is the thing, people. Go ahead with this for your good. All right, though we are done with the very uh, first uh, three uh, things, that is Jan 23, 29 and Feb 16th. So be ready for Feb 13th, okay? Is that clear, everyone? And exciting rewards in every test is the test on 29 Jan and 13 February. Okay, and when uh, uh like 20 lakh college grant. So rank one will get MacBook Air, rank two Apple iPhone, and rank four to five will get um Apple iPad, rank six to forty Amazon Echo Dot, rank forty one to fifty Amazon Voucher. Scholarships left rank one to ten hundred percent, rank eleven to twenty five seventy five percent, rank twenty six to hundred fifty percent, rank one to one to two hundred twenty five percent, rank two one to five hundred fifteen percent. So this is going to be super duper amazing. Go ahead. And CBC students for classes 6 to 12 offer for plus and iconic subscribers already. This already ended, guys. So make sure that if you are really going in for something that's gonna help you all score good marks, please make sure that you are definitely going in for plus subscription and iconic subscriptions. And this will really help you all score good marks for your good. Alrighty, and guys, we have iconic plus plus thing. Okay, in iconic, you're gonna get personal guidance get one-on-one -on -one guidance from top exam experts then you will have test analysis as well get one-on-one -on -one guidance from top exam experts study planner would be there customized study plan with bi-weekly reviews would be there study material specialized notes and practice tests and experts guidelines study booster workshop by exam experts and of course in the plus what are you gonna get everybody you're gonna get live classes weekly tests would be there structured courses and unlimited access and in iconic you're gonna get this two plus this okay so they are like ultimate benefits don't just be very lenient about them so we have got guys different monthly plans for your iconic subscription 48 months or six months 24 months 18 months 15 12 9 6 or 3 just make use of the code guys like psh10 go ahead with this okay this will give you straightforward 10 percent discount so guys being your educator i would really like to tell you all try to go for a longer tenure that really really helps okay so thank you everybody i hope you all love the session guys do like uh, catch me right at four o'clock i mean in just seven minutes be right there i'm gonna be in the open house session you guys can talk to me you guys can discuss i'm gonna share with all of you like how you should be going ahead with your studies especially for your chapters okay so be right there Alrighty, thank you everyone if you're new to the channel do not uh, forget to hit the bell button definitely subscribe the channel and do not forget to like the session and share it with your friends thank you dimple thank you everybody thank you thank you tutorials thank you dear hey shrey you're very late my dear i hope that you've been good okay so guys you all can catch me in the open house session right at four o'clock okay i'll be there thank you thank you everybody thank you marie thank you bye everyone corby bye take care guys just be very fine and i'm gonna be there with all of you all right do not forget to be there we can talk you can just ask me whatever you want to ask and be right there Alrighty, people okay dimple that's good okay people take care bye bye and see you in like five minutes almost